the Labour Party in Lagos has discountenanced the result announced by INEC for the state. The state chairman, Pastor Dayo Ekong, has insisted that the concluded governorship and state assembly elections were flawed and cannot be accepted by the party. He said this after INEC announced the APC's candidate, Governor Babajidi Sonwolu, as the winner of the governorship poll. This was just as the resident electoral commissioner, Professor Shegun Agbaji, called for calm. Our correspondent, Paul George, reports. Party agents, journalists, and international observers gathered in this hall at the INEX office as they await announcement of the winners of the 2023 governorship and state's House of Assembly elections. At 1.25 a.m., the returning officer in Lagos, Professor Adenike Temifayo Oladiji, declares Governor Babajide Sanwolu as the winner. Sanwolu Babajide Olushona of APC, meeting the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Signed by... Professor Adenike Oladide, this day, 20th day of March, 2023. State Chairman of the Labour Party, Pastor Dayo Ekong, challenges the process. She accuses the Residence Electoral Commissioner, Professor Shegun Agbaje of Connivance, to rig the election in favour of the All Progressives Congress, APC. This election is a sham. Election marked by violence. He reported this case in the past election and nothing was done. I want to tell you, Mr. Abadje, the rep, that you have failed youth. You have failed masses. You have not done the right thing. To say that economically, the Labour Party rejects all this. And as a result of this, we demand Similarly, Lagos State Chairman of the National Rescue Movement, NRM, Timilola Akiade, alleges that the Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party duplicated INEX agents' cards for their parties. The agent tax that uh, APC, uh, that uh, sorry, that Labour Party and PDP used, is, it was fake. And I tried to challenge them, how did you get this? So I discovered the, it was printed by the party which was wrong, because I next printed the original, and I tried to check the APC that has the original to the fake one. So because of that discovery, I was able to correct seven uh, polling un 17 polling units. But the last one I tried to check, which was 18 polling unit, the guy was so aggressive that I can't do anything, so I had just let go. Responding to the rigging allegations leveled against him, the resident electoral commissioner, Professor Shegun Agbaje, denies favoring any party, saying that he stands for justice and equity. Agbaje says, as the REC, this is the first time Nigerians would witness the highest number of PVCs collected by the youths in Lagos. Agbaje led his team of uh, ensuring these and other officers to bring out youths to come and register. He brought them out also, went them to go around the state to make them collect their PVCs. We did 88 percent collection in Lagos State. It has never happened before. That would be that many youths collected their PVCs. So I don't know in what area or in which area Agade does not like youths in Lagos State. Nigerians await as the counter accusations of rigging continue while some governorship candidates say they will seek redress in court. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.